Welcome to Digital Asset News, the like top stories in crypto and bring it on to bite-sized pieces. So today I just want to do a follow-up to yesterday's video where we took a look at uh, Ledger Live and how you can buy and sell crypto as well as swap it. And there was a uh, an error, or not really an error, but uh, something that needs to be clarified as far as using DEXs through or decentralized exchanges through Ledger and the fees that are involved. And these fees that are involved for decentralized exchanges that use Ethereum are Ethereum gas fees. I wanna make that uh, super clear because people had a lot of questions about that. So we're gonna take a look at uh, Ledger Live. We're gonna take a look at uh, how to buy things uh, through Ledger, especially with everything that's going on with different banks, although I don't know if it'll really help. Uh, Ledger Swap, where you can swap different things, kind of like using a decentralized exchange, like a, like a Uniswap or a Sunday Swap or Ber whatever swap that's out there. Uh, but you can use that uh, securely in your Ledger. And we're going to take a look at the, the fees and how they compare to Uniswap. And we'll go over some final thoughts. So uh, let's just back up real quick and take a look at what I'm talking about as far as Ledger Live. So Ledger Live uh, is right here and you're looking at it. And uh, it's a pretty easy thing to uh, understand. This is for your, your cold storage wallet. And on the side, you'll see some things will say portfolio, uh, accounts, send, what else we got? Receive buy, sell, swap, lend, and manager. So I'm not gonna go over everything uh, for Ledger Live. There is uh, full tutorials over at danteachescrypto.com, which explains exactly how to operate these things. And, and that is on the website for free. Uh, so you can check that out. But what I wanna go over is two things, which is the buy and sell, which, and then the swap. So with the buy and sell, just so you know, um, I'm an American. So only American bank accounts can use uh, Wire, Coinify, um, I guess you can use local US wire. That's interesting. Local US wire transfers. Let's take a look at that. Okay. So let's choose a crypto asset. Uh, let's take Bitcoin and then we'll continue. Connect your device, which this is the device we're talking about. My ledger, uh, connect it. Sure. And I'll open it up. Loading. And there we go. So it looks like what a perfect day to buy crypto. So I can buy sell history and let's see how this works so you spend 600 bucks you get let's see how much i can spend let's try ten thousand. why not and let's click on buy now so it's going to ask you for use your, details, use your details to access your trading account or create a new one so you got to create a new account into coinify and then it'll connect your bank account and you can do whatever you want to so that's coinify now that's interesting didn't know you could do that great Let's go to buy, sell again. Uh, Coinify again, available in 130 countries. Europe, US dollar, uh, the pound, and 32 others. SEP and faster pays. And local US wire transfers, interesting credit credit and coin cards. And you can also use wire. And when I click on wire, I click on continue. It'll be the same type of thing. And I can just connect my banks, my bank, or my crypto asset, and connect your device, which I've already done. So since it has, now it has my, my Bitcoin address, you can ask me my first name, last name, email, social, date of birth, and you're gonna put in your information as far as your bank, and it'll go that way. So you can do that securely uh, through your ledger. That's great. So that's a great start. And that, uh, we're just talking about, which was ledger, ledger buy. And now let's take a look at uh, ledger swap and how that all works. So ledger swap, now we're gonna go over here where it says swap, click on that. And there's two options, uh, Changely, which is not available in America, so I can't use Changely, which is pretty a bummer, big bummer. Uh, Paraswap, uh, connect to 30 plus DEXs. These are decentralized exchanges like Uniswap and SushiSwap, so 30 different decentralized exchanges to find you the best rate, right? I mean, apparently. Ethereum and ERC20 tokens, decentralized and trustless. Well, fantastic. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna click on Changely just to make sure. Uh, ba, 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 ba. This service is not available in the US and a few other countries. What a bummer, just to make sure, well, that sucks. And then uh, go back here, go back to swap. Paris swap is my only option. Now for you, if you're another uh, outside the United States, great, have at it and then swap away. But for me, this is how it's gonna work if I want to do any kind of uh, swapping. So again, here's my swap token, I'm gonna use Ethereum. And then I'm going to receive uh, Celsius. And the estimated cost is, uh, well, 16 bucks. Price impact, 0.25 minimum received, 83 Celsius, because I'm going to spend a good amount, about a grand or so. Not like 500 bucks, somewhere around there. 
And then uh, let's see, for the exchange, it looks like it's showing me Uniswap B2 has 100% quantity. Uniswap B3 is zero and Balancer has zero. I don't see any other, other ones. I'm gonna click on swap. And you're swapping 0.25 ETH, which is 590 bucks for Celsius. Here's the slippage rate, blah, blah, blah. And I can confirm the order. And then when I do that, the price is going to come up for how much it's actually going to cost me to do this. And yesterday I was like, man, that's way too much and blah, blah. And people are like, is that through Ledger? No, that is through Ethereum. And these are the fees, Ethereum gas fees right now. Maybe when EIP 5039 comes out, it uh, will reduce. I have no idea. So you can do it slow, which might be a couple days, maybe a couple hours for here. Fast if you want to pay 48 bucks or custom and, you know, have fun with that. And then off you go. But um, yeah, I'm not going to uh, swap. So just to be sure, these fees are through Ethereum, not through Ledger. And we're going to double check to make sure these fees are legit. So somewhere between $26 and 48 bucks for uh, Celsius. And then uh, just real quick, how did I uh, let me make sure everybody knows? So how did I get there real quick? Paraswap, because it's not just Celsius, right? Uh, I can click on Celsius. I can click on the uh, the other uh, part of the, the token and just try to find any kind of tokens that I might want to be and 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 swap for those. There's a ton of them, right? I mean, that's great. Good for you. Uh, and then all just types of stuff you can get into. So so fantastic. And just so you know, it doesn't matter if you're buying, you know, I don't know, a hundred Celsius tokens or a hundred tend tokens or a million tend or Celsius tokens. Uh, the gas fees are pretty much all, all the same. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Celsius, just as a, eh, yeah, Celsius, we'll go with that. And then uh, let's say I want to do 0 0.5 Ethereum. I don't know. It's going to give me uh, another price breakdown, 169. So let's swap max slippage rate. I want to go a half percent, whatever. Confirm order at 3% is pretty high. And let's see the fees. Yeah, about the same. So 26 bucks to $48. So again, it doesn't matter how much. It's just, it's a fee for one or a billion. It doesn't really matter what you're getting for. So let's remember those prices. $26, $26 to up to $47. Let's take a look real quick at Uniswap. And Uniswap, what we're going to take a look at is the prices and if that really does line up. So let me get out of uh, Ledger. And here we are. So I'm going to click on use Uniswap. It's going to uh, load up. It's going to connect to my MetaMask wallets. And if you want to find the video, uh, there's one. Just search Digital Asset News MetaMask. Come up number one. And uh, let's see. So I got ETH. Let's, and I have a balance of 0.5 in this particular MetaMask wallet. Great. Why don't I try to spend 0.25 ETH? Because it really doesn't matter. And let's select the exact same token, Celsius. And there's Celsius network and there's cell coin. And just, just, so, just so you know, uh, anybody can add any kind of crazy coin and rip you off. So that's the problem with Uniswap. That's why a little bit safer there over at, uh, uh, ledger. So, okay. So let's see. So ETH, oh, Celsius token. Of course there's not, it's insufficient. Cause it's not Celsius. That's the wrong token. I clicked on the wrong one. See, double check yourself. Celsius network. Click on that. Let's see if it has liquidity, because V3 didn't. All right. So sure, 85 Celsius token. I'm going to click on swap. Liquidity provider fee, uh, price impact. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's confirm the swap and see what happens. See where we get. Here comes my little MetaMask thingy. And uh, yeah, so gas fee is uh, is 30. So that was between whatever it was, 26 and $45 or whatever else it is. And if you want to spend that and, and, and do that, that's fine, but I'm not going to. And then you can, uh, let's see here, data, details. And then of course, if you want to speed things up, um, you can do that, but I'm not going to uh, uh, do, go with that. So that's it for today. And uh, just to clarify the third time that, uh, yeah, it's not, it's just the, the, the DEX's fees, not Ledger, and uh, that's it. So let me just think about that in the comment section. Give it a like, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.